Good day to all. We are the Group 2A of BSN 3F presenting our research entitled The Challenges of Nurse Educators in Conducting Blended Learning. I am Christian Diwara and together with me is Francis de la Peña, Veronica Divino, Senes Dingkong, and John Christian Escabas. We all know that everybody was affected when the COVID-19 pandemic started, where everybody was forced to stay at home for months in total isolation. Works and schools are canceled, affect, affecting everyone. Students were always the priority since they are the future as to what adults think. But let us also understand that teachers or specifically nurse educators also have their challenges. By that, we present this study which focuses on the nurse educators slash teachers of a specific university on how they are affected by the pandemic. The purpose of this study is to know the different challenges of nurse educators according to their age, sex, marital status, and employment status. The challenges are te technological issues, professional rel relationship of teachers with students, stress, and adapting. For our study sample, with the study sample, we, util we utilize the probability sampling, specifically the non-purposive sampling. It is a type of sampling that in involves the selection of individuals or elements for the research study based on a predetermined probability of inclusion. Next is the research design, which is quantitative descriptive research design. It was utilized in the study in order to describe a phenomenon, situation, or population in a systematic manner. It assists in answering the what, when, where and how questions about the research problem rather than the why. So for our instruments, researcher made two parts questionnaire. The first part is the demographic pro profile consisting their name, age, sex, and employment status. The second part is a list of challenges of nurse educators in conducting blended learning with a total of 24 items. Survey questionnaire consists of a formulated set of questions for nurse to answer. There are four criteria and each has six questions depending on the challenges, namely technological issues with six items, professional relationship to nurse educators and students with six items, stress with six items, adapting with six items, which gives a total of 24 sets of questions. For the results and discussion, in the demographic profile, majority of the participants are female with a percentage of 79.4%. Uh, 28 out of 63 participants were in the middle adulthood. The age bracket is 36 to 50 years old. More than half of the participants with a percentage of 61.9 were married. And as to the employment status of the participants, 32 out of 63 were full-time probationary and part-time educators. Next is the challenges of nurse educators in conducting blended learning, namely technological issues, professional relationship of nurse educators with students, stress, and adapting. This revealed that challenge two and three, which is the professional relationship of educators with students, and challenge three, which is stress, are moderate challenges. While challenge one and challenge four are technological issues and adapting showed low results which means these challenges were insignificant. Lastly, it revealed that there was no significant relationship between the challenges of nurse educators in conducting blended learning and their demographic profile, which means age, sex, marital status, and employment status are not indicators for their challenges. For conclusion, according to demographic profile, females outnumber the male nurse educators indicating that nursing is still a profession that is female dominated and that women tend to stay longer in teaching profession as well as nursing staff work. So according to indicators, findings indicate that there is no significant relationship between the demographic profile. The challenges faced by nurse educators in blended learning are the same. Next up, we have according to relationship. 
The results show that age, sex, marital status, and employment status are not indicators in the challenges of nurse educators in conducting blended learning. This means that the null hypothesis is not rejected, stating that there is no significant relationship between demographic profile and the challenges of nurse educators in conducting blended learning. But according to challenges, as stated earlier, the, the different challenges include technological issues, professional relationship of educators with students, stress, and adapting. So between these challenges, results found that as a whole, it showed low in technological issues and adapting to blended learning. And with moderate rating results for professional relationship of nurse educators with students and stress. So uh, it is concluded that professional relationship between nurse educators and students uh, and stress require attention for the benefit of the CHED social ad administrators, nurse educators, student nurses, and future researchers. So uh, we, we recommend the future researchers to further expand the challenges and number of participants and also by including different universities and not just focus on one in order to have a much more magnificent results in the future. That would be all. Thank you.